this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a starry sky. So this is uh, for when you have photos where it would look really nice if the sky were starry, but unfortunately none of the stars came out or there were no stars at the time because of the you know level of uh, light pollution and so forth. So what we can do here to make this photo nicer is uh, we're going to add a new layer, making sure that our foreground color is black. We're going to do Alt and Backspace to fill that in with black. Now we're going to go into Filter noise and add noise and we're going to add noise to about this this setting here we're going to an, an amount of 100 percent gaussian and monochromatic once we have that selected we click ok and now we're going to go we're going to go into filter blur and gaussian blur and we're going to add 0 0.3 pixels of gaussian blur which you can see let me turn it off it just blurs it just a tad we don't want too much of it or too little of it just a tad so point three will do the trick for this photo here and now what we want to do is unview this layer and we're going to select just the sky and the best way to select the sky is to go into select and color range color range allows us to first of all click here on our preview image here we're going to click on the sky and make sure that you are in a fuzziness of around uh, 40 30 percent 30, uh, you know, setting in the fuzziness, so not too little, not not too much. And what you'll see is that um, when you have a preview of grayscale, that the things that are being selected is white, and the things that are not being selected is in black, and everything in between is being sort of, you know, half selected. So what we're going to do is we want to make sure that all of the sky is selected and nothing else is selected. Of course, you're going to try to have to compromise a little bit, get to a, to a compromise, but we want to, first of all, make sure that we're selecting all of the sky. And to do this, we're going to add to our selection here with the plus. Now you're going to see all these, you see all these other subtle variations on the color here? We're going to click on it to transform that into white. Okay. Once we have that selected, now we can go into our fuzziness and make sure that nothing else besides the sky is being selected. So we're going to bring the fuzziness down slowly. We're bringing it down until we start seeing detail in the sky. And then we select that color again. Then we bring it down a little bit further. And now we select that. And we keep on bringing it down. And as you can see with each pass, we're selecting more of the sky and less of the details here. You're not going to reach a perfect state, but you're going to get close enough. There, that's pretty good. Okay, we're going to click OK, and now we're going to bring up our layers again, go into our layer with the starry sky, and now we're going to add a layer mask so it's only the sky that's being shown through with the sky. With the, with the stars, okay. The other bits here, if we need fix to fix later on, we will fix that, right. Now what we want to do here is we're going to add an adjustment layer here. We're going to add levels. And let me just show you what would happen if we just apply levels as it is right now. So we'll just do levels. And as you can see, if I'm applying levels here, I'm starting to decrease the amount of stars here to the photo, but I'm also just decreasing everything else in the photo, right? So one good way to actually keep things from being affected um, is or to localize the effect of the levels is to put things into groups. So if we select the two layers and put them into a group and then change the group, we're on the group layer here, and if we change that from pass-through to normal and make sure that our two layers are inside of the group, then what happens now is that uh, the, the effects of level is only going as far as the group is concerned. So, you know, it only sees this, the levels. That's all it's modifying. It's not modifying our original image. Okay. Now that we're in our levels, let me just go back in here and just show you how this works. Okay. What you want to do here from the original is to just move it all the way down. Not too much, but you want to move it pretty far down, like to around here, 194 region. And now you can see that there are several things that happens. You can move in the white slider. And if you move in the white slider, what happens is the intensity of the stars become uh, brighter, right? It becomes more intense. So you can move it just slightly just to keep to put a little bit more uh, sparkle into the lights. And then the, the uh, middle slider here will control how many stars you'll be having. So you can create little or a lot of stars. And then also if we move in more of the, uh, the black slider here, just moves everything out so that we have even less stars, right? So once you get to a comfortable position, you can play around with these two sliders here to the, get it to the position where you're comfortable with the amount of stars that are being shown. And I think something like this is pretty cool. I think it works really well here. 
So that's the, the setting that we're going to use for here. Of course, none of this is scientific. You can use as much or as little as you want in your starry sky, of course. Okay. The other thing we want to do here is um, perhaps add a hue and saturation layer and uh, click on colorize. And then what we can do is apply a uniform color to all the, the, the light of the stars. And of course, the stars would look best, I think, around 220, 230 region with like a blue cast to to the stars, right? So we'll apply it to that. And then you can also change the saturation if you want it, you know, more saturated or less saturated with, with that blue uh, in there. So something around 20, 30 works really well. We're going to click OK with this. And now you can see the effect. Let me zoom in here. You can see the effect of the stars if we take them off, put them on. And you can also take off the hue and saturation layer and see the subtle uh, subtlety that the hue and saturation layer is doing just to create just a little bit of hint of a blue uh, starry sky there. So uh, there you are. Let me just show you here the before. So that's the before without any of the stars. And here's the after with the stars. And as you can see, we have uh, very little to actually have to um, change in the photo here. There's a little bit of the stars that are coming here through the reflection here. And what you can do with that, of course, is just go into your uh, adjustment layer here with the layer mask and uh, just paint that in with black. Make sure that it's not being affected. Then you can go on and off and make sure that there are no st stars where you don't think there should be any. But it should all be pretty much uh, set to go, I think. There we are. So starry sky. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.